oh my goodness, it's like day 15 already. This is really awesome. And July is going by so fast. Sorry for the shortened videos. Um, I've got some good ones planned coming up. But today I wanted to talk about uh, crying. Like I said, I kind of already knew who all died before I read the seventh book because I asked my best friend because I never thought I would actually read the book. So I was like, oh, just tell me who died. And uh, a few of them I didn't know who. And I totally forgot who died anyways. I kind of already knew that Dumbledore died because the internet is no help with that at all. But once I started reading the book, like I just threw out everything I knew and I threw out the movies and everything and I just enjoyed the book. I'm going to tell you which characters made me cry when they died. A little embarrassing. First of all, Dumbledore. In the book, totally cried. Cried like a baby. I cry every time I read it. The movie, I did not cry. I almost did. My husband starts uh, screaming free bird in the middle of the theater. Yeah, I started laughing. So I didn't get my moment to cry. So I just reread the book and, and cried again. As far as the seventh book, I didn't cry when Hedwig died. I'm sorry, you know, if it was my pet, yes, I would have cried, but Hedwig was not that important to me. People are more important to me, so uh, honestly, when I found out Mad, Mad Eye was the one that died, I got really emotional. Like, I don't think I cried, but I got a little misty eyed. Scrimger didn't cry. Mm -mm. Not at all. Wormtail? Really? No, I'm not gonna cry for him. He did it to himself. Sorry. Dobby? Oh my gosh. Once again, like a baby. <sighs> Bellatrix. No. I'm sorry to those of you that like her, but the character, obviously I was not upset about that at all. I don't even remember it. Colin Creevy? I was sad, but it wasn't really like an epic moment or anything. It wasn't really any build up. I was really upset. Um, a lot of any of the students that died, it was kind of upsetting that that happened because they were all so brave uh, for such little kids. I cried for Snape. One of the reasons I actually started reading the books was because of the whole twist in Snape's character. I wanted to read more about that. I wanted to see what was going on with that. So I knew, I knew kind of what happened in the end, but I wanted to know. And so it wasn't just a Google this and find out. I wanted to read and follow him from beginning to end. And then that's also why I reread it. So I could go back and go, okay, this is what was going on in his head and everybody's head, including Dumbledore. So it's really enjoyable to read it a second time, even when you know what's going on. And then of course, Tonks and Lupin. Tonks and Lupin, it was just more of an announcement, like here's who died. And I knew it was coming. But I, I definitely, definitely cried. That was really, like, even now I get really upset that they're not in the future of Harry Potter. And that, you know, Teddy doesn't have his mother and his father. And it just, I know that they're not real, but it really, really gets to me. So, uh, I don't, if they show that part in the movie, I will cry. I will cry. I'll probably cry on Dobby, uh, as long as they don't do the whole wand light thing. There's my embarrassing list of crying moments. You guys have a great night.